Hey, I'm Isil Khan and in this video, we will be learning about the missing line measurements of a traverse. Remember, sometimes there may be conditions where the length or bearing of a traverse could not be measured, which is then known by affected side or missing side. Also remember, this can have two cases, like one line affected and two lines affected. In this short video, I'll cover only a traverse problem affected by one side. For which, let's take a look into the given example. Let's say we are asked to calculate the length and bearing of the line EA of a closed traverse ABCDEA with the given data. As I can see, the given data is enough to work out the required measurements, so I'll come directly into the solution. And in the solution, as you can see, the line EA is the last line of the given closed traverse. The latitude and departure of all sides will be found, and then their sum can be taken to find the departure and latitude of the line EA. Once we get both departure and latitude of line EA, then its length and bearing can be found so easily. So let's go ahead and let me do this work in a simple table. Let's say the table is going to be the column of lines, length, bearing, departure which must be L sin theta and then its latitude which must be L cos theta. Here L is the length of the line and theta may be the bearing of the line. Okay, so now I'm gonna put all given data in the same table just like this. The only thing we need here is to work out the departure and latitude of each line. For example, the departure of AB line is going to be the length which is 290 times sine of its bearing and that is of course 118 degrees and that is going to be the departure which is of course 256 units. Similarly, the latitude of line AB is going to be the length that is 290 times cos of its bearing which must be minus 136.1 and here you, you may notice that the departure is positive and the latitude is negative which means the line is in the second quadrant. And then the same method can be used to determine the departure and latitude of line BC, CD and DE. Once we get the departure and latitude of our lines, then the summation of these guys are calculated, which are then taken as the departure and latitude of the missing line EA. So the departure of line EA equals 94.2 meters, and the latitude of line EA equals 105.7 meters and that's set. Now we can determine the length of line EA by using the Pythagorean's theorem. Like length of line EA must be the square root of departure square plus latitude square. Or you can say the length equals square root of departure. Departure is known 94.2 meters. So 94.2 square plus latitude square and that is 105.7 square which must be of course 141.58 units or uh, meters you can say. Okay. And now let's calculate the bearing of line EA which must be tangent inverse of departure divided by latitude of the same line. Okay. So bearing equals tangent inverse of departure that is of course 94.2 divided by the latitude which is of course 105.7 so the bearing must be 41.7 degrees and that's it. So this is how we do calculate and determine when one side of traverse is missing or affected. In the next video we will be learning what if two sides of a traverse are missing or affected. Hey, if you like these types of videos, please hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon and never miss an update from an engineer boy. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.